Here is the baby philodendron pink princess that I got today. It has very little variegation. So the first thing I did was I know I had to repot it because a pink princess has to feel good to look good. I heard that the pink princess likes drainage, so of course I'm using my terracotta pots because they provide very good drainage and I also love the color. On top of that, I'm using some perlite mixed into the soil. Then I finish it off with some sphagnum moss on top to retain moisture and humidity. And every day I would spray down the plant to make sure the sphagnum moss did not dry out. And then every week I would also water the pink princess. I put it by the window so it got the morning light. I'm going to do this routine for a month. I think that the warm weather will also help. Hopefully it will produce some nice results. I already see a new leaf coming out and maybe it's a pink leaf. <sighs> we are on day 44. So these past couple of weeks have produced underwhelming results. Despite the love and care that I give my pink princess, it is not doing well. The leaves are coming out smaller and there's no sign of pink. At this point, I'm lost on what to do. Welcome to Feline Jungle. After day 44, the pink princess has not made any progress. This part of the pink princess was damaged the last time it was trying to push out a new leaf, which I read was very common amongst philodendrons. I think because of this previous damage, it produced a very sad and small leaf, which I'm not happy about. So now I'm going to try new methods that will hopefully help my pink princess produce pinker leaves. So I made a huge decision to chop up my pink princess. Yes, I heard online that this would give it a restart that might produce pinker leaves. First, I'm going to air layer the stem. If you guys don't know, air layering is a method to stimulate root growth on the stem of the plant. I feel like this will be the safest way to propagate since it already has roots on each cutting, it will have a bigger chance of surviving. I didn't want to risk it with this plant because it's more rare and it's also been on my wish list for a very long time. Now I'm going to assess the plant to see if it's ready to be propagated. Just looking at the stem right now, I already see a lot of nodes. Nodes are the bumpy things that stick out and these nodes are all potential for a root growth. To start air layering, you're going to need some sphagnum moss. Here I'm using this moss that is made for terrariums, which is the same for plants. I like the size of this product because I didn't need a lot. You can actually find the link to it on my Amazon shop in the description below. This is actually my first time air layering and I'm excited and nervous at the same time. This is all trial and error, so if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you! So taking a handful, I'm going to soak it in water. <laughs> so Thing is so curious, he probably thinks it's some kind of food or maybe a new toy. Or maybe he's training to be the new furry botanist. Make sure you soak it fully in water. These steps are very similar to making a moss pole, except in this case, the moss pole is the stem of your plant. Sphagnum moss retains a lot of water, so you don't want it to be soaking wet. You just want it to be moist. So the next step is to squeeze out the excess water. I repeated these steps multiple times just to make sure the moss was deeply soaked in water. I don't think you actually have to do this. I just wasn't sure if I squeezed out too much water, so I just kept doing it until it felt right. 
So just a little backstory, I got this pink princess in the beginning of the year. I always wanted one, but I didn't want to pay the over the top price for it. So what I did every day was to check for places where I can get a reasonable one. And I was able to find one on the Facebook market from a local lady and she was selling it for less than $50. Of course, I got it immediately and it was my first time using the Facebook market. I was so glad it went smoothly. It was also during the winter season and I remember meeting up at a CVS to get this pink princess and I was very happy that day. Calculating how many nodes I have, I think I can get a maximum of 5 cuttings. Mainly, I want to cover the top of the stem because I see some variegation on the stem. So the new leaf has a lot of potential for having hot pink in it. So I'm just going to wrap it more on the top, especially in these corners where there's uh, nodes around these areas. After you have completely covered the stem in moss, the next thing you want to do is to wrap plastic around it. This will keep the moisture in longer. Here I'm using Ceram wrap from my kitchen. So as I'm wrapping this, I'm going to talk about how to care for your air layering. You want to have it wrapped around until you see roots. Make sure to spray it daily with water to keep the moss moist. This seems like a longer process than just propagating it in soil or water, but I think it's the safest. I also think it's a really cool process based off of what I've seen in other videos. You can actually see the roots forming because of the transparency of the plastic. I also think it'll have a better transition into soil compared to water propagation. I am using a new plastic wrap at each section because it's easier for me to check on the roots later. I also find that it's easier to wrap around awkward shapes or corners, but there is no real preference between using one big plastic wrap or multiple pieces. You know when you go to a spa and there's those uh, hydrating body wraps that uses gel to soften, soothe, and hydrate the skin? It feels like I'm giving my pink princess a full body treatment right now. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished wrapping it. This is the basics of air layering. I'm so excited to see what it will do for my pink princess. Fast forward two weeks, a lot of things has happened. I moved, so you might notice that the setup is a little bit different. A couple other things to note is that my pink princess moved from a northeast location to a southwest location and I think this has to do a lot with what I'm about to show you on my pink princess. Here's the big reveal. It's actually doing very well and within the two weeks of air laying it with moss, all I did was spray it whenever I felt dry. So I didn't really have a real routine to it but I just wanted to show you guys these roots. All of these stems are about 2 inches long and it's throughout the whole stem. So let me see if I can get you guys a better view. Ugh, sometimes the roots can be really embedded into the moss. This was actually a really easy process. All I did was inspect it every day to make sure it was moist. 
Wow, so this root is actually close to three inches and it's very healthy. If you look closer inside, there's actually secondary roots that are growing off of this big one. I would say this is very promising. I already see more roots down the stem. If I really wanted to, I can actually propagate this right now and make a cutting and I think it would do absolutely great. But then I noticed this new leaf coming out and it's definitely pink. I've seen enough leaves to know what pink looks like and usually green leaves will come out a more darker red color. So I'm very excited about this pink leaf. I'm actually more excited about this pink leaf than the roots <laughs> because the whole point of me doing this was to produce more pink leaves. So I think I'm going to wait and see this leaf fully unfold until I cut it up. So I've had this pink princess for a while and, and I've had speckles of pink here and there. Usually they're a light pink and what happens is that it'll fade off over time more like this uh, pale green color that you see over here. So I'm really excited about this pink leaf. Just reflecting on my process, I think a couple things factored into this pink leaf. Definitely the warmer weather is stimulating more growth compared to when I first got it. I also think the brighter light from the southwest facing window is helping me with the variegation. Before it was in the northeast facing window so I didn't really get that much light. The plant was probably producing more green leaves to process more light. Now that I have more light, it's probably encouraging it to produce pinker leaves. It also looks like it's bigger than this tiny leaf. This leaf is so pathetic and also the reason why I wanted to cut it up. I really was hoping that this leaf would get bigger than this and I just really want to wait and see what it looks like before I cut it up. Just zooming in on the top, I see a lot of good roots, so I'm very excited to chop this top part off. Right where my pinky is pointing, you can even see smaller roots forming on that big one. So a couple days has passed and oh my god, it's fully pink. It's fully pink with a speck of green. Um, right now it's still trying to harden, so let me wait a couple more days. the new leaf fully came out so excited that it's pink and it's bigger than the last one i think the factors of many things played into the part of making a bigger leaf mainly i think it's the air layering effect remember how i said it's like a moss pole if i didn't plan on cutting this up the nodes actually serve as aerial roots and the additional moisture from the moss can trigger the development of larger and more mature leaves Now that it's pink, I actually worry that it's too much pink. Usually all pink leaves die off more quickly, so the struggle is real. Right now, I'm just enjoying the beauty of this leaf while I can. But there's actually a new leaf coming out, so hopefully this one will find a balance between pink and green. I also want to give you guys an update on the roots, so let's take off the plastic. Judging from this part, the new leaf looks like it's just going to be green, but you never know what's below it, so it'll be very exciting to find out.
this is amazing. So the roots actually got even longer despite the moss being on the drier side. Um, let me see if I can take off some more to show you guys more roots. So because the moss is dry, it's actually easier for me to take it apart. Um, in this back area, they just come out in chunks. I'm just gonna turn this around and let you guys look at the roots. Look at those roots, it's crazy. That's definitely more than three inches long. So as you can see, the roots are really embedded into the moss. Um, I guess if I were ever to make a moss pole, it would have a similar effect. I actually never made a moss pole for any of my plants before, but I think it's time to invest in them. It seems to be really good for the leaves and the plant itself, especially for climbing aeroids like the pink princess or my silver sword, I think it'll do really good. So as I get to the center of the stem, I realize that some of the nodes actually didn't grow out. I think this is due to the fact that when I missed it, I missed it from the top. Or when I water, I also water from the bottoms. So it's probably harder for the water to get to the midsection. This is definitely something that I can improve on. Wow, so some of these nodes actually grew so long that it went into the soil. That's crazy. Here I'm still trying to take off the moss from this root and this is the root that actually dug into the soil. Look how long and juicy this looks. So some of these other parts are harder to take off. So I'm just gonna show you these two roots and let you guys see how long they are. This is so long that it almost reached the bottom of the soil as well. And this is from like one of the top nodes. So that's very exciting. Seems like the air layering is doing really well. It's giving me a lot of roots and even a few new leaves. Now I have two options. One is to continue air layering it because the plant seems to be very happy. Or the second option is to actually cut it up into the different cuttings like what I originally planned. This way I will have five new plants and more chances of getting pink leaves. So what do you guys think? Should I let it continue to grow in the moss or should I cut it up? Let me know in the comments below because you guys will decide what I will do next. Hope you like this kind of a content. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, why not? Hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time. Bye!